I'd now like to introduce you to, uh, in Tasmania, Professor Gary O'Donovan. Thank you, Gary. Actually, uh, it's Martin Randall. I'll, uh, I'll lead off here. So, uh, hello from Tasmania. Um, Martin Randall from Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and I'm joined at the head of the table by uh, Professor Gary O'Donovan and uh, Commander uh, Jeff Smith of Tasmania Police. Um, in Tasmania, we address uh, student safety through a student uh, experience and cultural awareness task force, and uh, most of the organisations uh, on that task force are here today. Uh, several representatives from the university, uh, Commander Smith and Inspector Lutia from Tasmania Police, uh, and uh, we have uh, Eric uh, Gui from um, Launceston representing the Honourable Don Wing, a Legislative Councillor. It's great that he's come all the way from Launceston. Um, it's very much appreciated. Uh, Tasmanian Anti-Discrimination Commissioner, uh, Hobart uh, City Council, and we also get great support from the uh, Launceston City Council. Not uh, least of all, uh, we get a lot of support from the students here in Tasmania through the uh, Tasmanian University Union. Uh, also today, we have here uh, Department of Immigration and Citizenship, uh, the Tasmanian Education Department and Polytechnic, and uh, International Education Australia, um, the International Education Association are also here. Uh, think before is a uh, new internet, social media approach to delivering some key safety messages. It's national, it's uh, international. Uh, Foreign Affairs and Trade uh, strongly supports uh, this initiative. And we've asked our overseas posts to uh, help identify new social media channels uh, in our major education markets overseas to help spread this uh, message internationally. So that's it from me. Um, Gary, would you like to say anything? Thanks, uh, Martin. Um, just briefly, any initiative at all that, um, <coughs> that helps the student experience and student safety is to be applauded. And the Think Before initiative is a step in the right direction in trying to contact students using the media that uh, the younger generation, and uh, there's a few of us around the table here, uh, are much more familiar with than, than the written and print information that we've provided in the past. So any initiative that improves student safety and the student experience is to be applauded. Uh, from a Tasmanian perspective, we have, as a university, three campus, three main campuses in Tasmania, in Burnie, Launceston and Hobart, and being the only university in the state, it's incumbent upon us to provide as positive a student experience and safety for all of our students, but particularly our international students. And we've got a, an ongoing, uh, very good relationship with the Tasmania Police, and as Martin mentioned, particularly the City Councils, Hobart and Launceston in particular, uh, and with the setting up of the Student Experience and Cultural Awareness Task Force that Martin mentioned, we're being very proactive in trying to improve that student experience. I think in all of this, one of the positive messages that has to come across is that Australia is, is a safe place. It is a, it is a preferred destination for students. But like anywhere, we need to educate students from different cultures and different countries uh, as to how it is, how they can be safer in a new environment. So I applaud this initiative and I hope it's successful in the years to come. Thanks, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff, would you like to say this? I think I'd like to... Jeff, would you like to add anything or we... All right, I think that uh, winds it up from Tasmania. <laughs> Thanks very much. Technology. I'd now 